What's up, everybody? Well, today I got some ga more gameplay videos for you today. We're kicking it off with FIFA 21. I would have played 22, but I didn't have EA Pro and didn't want to spend extra for it. So hopefully they didn't change too much in that one versus this one, and performance should be pretty similar. But anyway, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show settings because this doesn't have settings in the actual game to show you video settings or anything. That's all on the desktop, and couldn't get it to record the desktop, so we're just hopping right into this one. But it's completely maxed out. 1080p, ultra settings, 4x, or 8x anti-aliasing. Oh, no, it's 4x anti-aliasing, excuse me. Absolute maximum anti-aliasing. And uh, pretty much all I'm doing is embarrassing myself and showing everybody that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Straight down the throat of Navas. I played soccer a bit as a kid, but um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I understood anything. All I understood was, hey, I'm going to kick this ball towards the goal. I had no idea that, like, besides the goalie, I didn't even know people had, like, different things that they did. Real <laughs> chance. Suffice it to say, his edge is blunt. But Poor effort. Would be well, interesting to get a hang of this. There, but he got one thing wrong, and that was the Definitely finish. looks like it takes some, some skill and some dedication to get good at this, knowing Always when to pass the ball. I can't even figure out how to score. Roberto Firmino. Encouraging move from Liverpool. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's okay shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration. Yeah, yeah there he looked pretty angry, see. didn't he? But yeah, pretty good graphics. We're getting like well over 100 FPS all the time. We're closer and to 200 most of the time, really. Oh, a perfectly timed pass, and that is offside. I got scored on. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. It is a decent looking attack here. Nope. Surely. Well, the shot over the decent. goal. It no cigar. Far. Just couldn't find the target. The manager's trying to get his message across on the touchline. They've <laughs> just got to keep pushing. Surely a goal will come. All right. Oh, poor from the keeper. Oh, yeah, that would have been embarrassing. I'm going to throw the ball back. Instantly get scored on. Well, alrighty. Let's move on to some camera gameplay, shall we? Alright. Camera recorded part now. To be perfectly honest, I still have no idea what I am doing. Damn. Yep, they sure have, because I have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> guy. Oh. They just keep taking the ball away because I can't figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. I have no idea how to play any sports. I'm not a sports person, but at least I'm hoping the person can see how it's playing. Pass it over to that guy. Ah, oh, I went into the goalie freaking spot. Can't go in there. I know at least that much. Oh well. Throw-ins given. 
Cash King. Neymar. On to Di Maria. Florenzi. Neymar! Chance to take the lead. Damn. Ah. I'm getting closer to being able to at least get the ball close to their goal. Just not able to set it up and actually score, though. Oh, up, 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 up. Pass it over to this guy. Pass it over to him. Damn. Soccer's not easy, especially when you don't know what you're doing. All right, I think that's enough humiliating myself at playing soccer when I don't know what I'm doing, but plays this game great. You're getting like 200 FPS like almost all the time, except for a couple 40s when it goes into those cutscenes. But anyway, let's move on to the next game. All right, moving on to Rainbow Six Siege, see how much further I can embarrass myself. Uh, we're going to be playing this on the actual laptop, just the laptop monitor, 1080p, full screen, 300 hertz, uh, no V-Sync or FPS limit normal field of view all right let's move over to the actual graphic settings we're on ultra pretty much everything is just maxed so why don't we run a benchmark and see how it does so we got a average of 159 average gpu performance render of 2.0 cpu render is 6.3 minimum 141 Max 179. Hmm. CPU load was at 29 and a VRAM load was at 34%. Alright, I think that pretty much covers this. Let's move on to some gameplay. Alright, we're uh, loading on in here. I just picked the pretty much the noob match for people that are new. Figured <laughs> best thing I can possibly do. Although I'm still probably going to get rocked. Nope, I guess I already was ready. See, I don't even know how to ready up in this silly game. But, let's see. Let's see how we do. And we're off to loading. Secure the bombs. And obviously, I'm assuming most people are going to want to turn these settings down. I'm turning this freaking house to me down. I can't aim at nothing at it. Bomb location compromised. Before. Plan accordingly. There we go. Still not perfect, but way more manageable. I have time to be sitting here messing with my. Sensitivity, I'll get shot in the face. I'll probably get shot in the face regardless. Let's find Ten out. Ten seconds left. But you can turn these settings down, get way more FPS. Five seconds and counting. And plus we're plus we're recording. Optimus located a bomb. FPS. Be ready for hot action. That's okay though. Hopefully we can do better next round.
There we go. I didn't even know you could do this. Sorry about just kind of staring off into space there. This will be a little bit more interesting than just sitting on that other screen. There you go. Let's move on to camera gameplay then. Hopefully we'll do better then. Alright, well I got absolutely obliterated in the first round there. Why not? <clears throat> Hopefully I can do a little bit better this time. Uh, I saw him, he just shot me before I could do anything about it. And regardless, you guys are still being able to see how this works. So that's what counts. Damn. Well, that's absolutely lame. Oh well. First time ever playing this game. Plays it beautifully though. Constantly over 100 FPS. Basically no stutter at all, basically a flat line of performance. That's what I like to see. Huh, well, we lost. Oh well. Anyway though, let's move on to another game, shall we? I'm tired of getting embarrassed in this game. Okay, and finishing this up, we're gonna do Metro Exodus Edition. And first, we're gonna do this a little differently. We're gonna, first, we're gonna try max out, pretty much. Minus hair works and uh, see how it does with that, and then we'll go and try more reasonable settings after this. So let's hop on in. All right, and as I was expect expecting, we're not hitting our 60 FPS target, but we are maxed out with max ray tracing. And it's still doing better than uh, Cyberpunk was at ultra ray tracing. That, that was dropping down into the teens. Hell, a lot of people could probably play this, no problem, and be happy with 40, 35 to 40 FPS. This is a little bit too slow for me, but I just wanted to show you guys how the game played maxed out. 
They're not going to play it too long like this. I'd rather get more gameplay footage from, uh, you know, a more playable, more reasonable settings, which we will do very shortly. game does look great though anyway let's move on to camera recorded okay time for the camera record part this one's a little shorter because I'm gonna do ray tracing versus lower ray tracing seeing as the we're only getting like 30 40 FPS but some people can play this no problem like this and oh, I guess that was too far man you really can't freaking like do anything in this game you jump from one millimeter off and you die. But, uh... It's probably going to put me right back here. Alright, is there any way for me to get down there without getting hurt? Yes, ladder. Let's do that instead, huh? Okay, what an awesome ladder. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see if this guy can use the ladder properly this time and not just die. That would be nice. Okay. All right, let's tone down the ray tracing a little bit, shall we? Okay, now we're gonna try a little bit more reasonable settings here. We are going to turn quality to high, ray tracing to normal. And there we go. Let's try that out. Hopefully we'll get more playable FPS now. All right, we're doing much better this time around. Still not hitting 60 all the time, so I'm sure if I went back in there and filled with a couple more settings, we could easily be over 60 all the time. Hmm. Grab some of this weird fungus off the wall. Yay, more fungus. There's fungus among us. I still hear that big old monster swimming around down there. This place is the most confusing place ever. <gasps> I have absolutely no idea where I'm going in here. not take my mask off. That water looks really realistic. Oh, he did. There's that creature again. That's where I came down from. Okay, this guy doesn't have any loot. So you can't be too careful in a situation like this. You want to get all the loot you can. I think I have, like, almost no ammo. So if some random zombies or whatever tried to attack me, I would get messed up real good. Don't fall down. Get up there. There we go.
All right, let's move on to camera gameplay. Okay, we're getting much better FPS now. Uh, doesn't look like this actually goes anywhere. I thought I had found the way. I'm pretty sure that doesn't gotta go anywhere. That just goes into some water. Man, this place is confusing. So where in the hell do I go in this freaking maze? Can't go that way. Can't go this way. So yeah, I really don't know what they expect me to do in here. I probably will have to go look up a guide for this place. Because I remember this place now. I've literally been like everywhere in here before and I cannot figure out where in the hell to go. It seems like in this game there's always only one possible way to go and if you can't figure it out well then you just die alrighty <clears throat> huh. oh, I thought I could fall onto that oh well good honestly glad that they died <laughs> Where in the hell do I go? That is something I'll never know. Alright. Am I supposed to go back up now or something? Because I remember coming down through there. What happens if I go this way? Nope, now I'm back up, I think, where I originally was. Awesome. I got some stuff. Oh well, that's probably about good anyway. I'd say we got more than enough game footage. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next video, peace out guys.